Alright. Pocket check. What is that, bro? Pocket check. We still good, I think. Oh my god! Bro. I don't need neutral right there, bro. It's so beautiful out today. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Y'all doing well? Man, I need to uh, install this pin lock because I cannot see shit right now. All I see is my stank breath. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I don't have stank breath. But my shit is fogging up. Uh, my shit is fogging up, bro. I'm on my way to the uh, ankle doctor right now because my ankle is all sorts of fucked. Pikachu is in timeout right now. I also hope that like nothing falls out of my pockets. Because if that happened, I am quite literally fucked. My license is in there, my all my cards and shit, they're all in there, bro. So if it falls out, oh, bro. So I installed the tail light for this, but look how fast that shit is going. I gotta install the relay to slow that down a little bit. I mean, I don't mind it being fast, but uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it's like good for the bike. So I'm gonna do that later today. What's up, you crazy fucks? Uh, today, I guess we'll talk about. I don't know, bro. What, what do you guys want to talk about, man? There's so much to talk about, but there's so little to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm in second gear. So today, I guess, I'm going to tell you guys why you shouldn't be starting on a 600 slash uh, super sport. Because I'm seeing a lot of crazy fucks in the comments. I'm seeing a lot of crazy fucks in the comments that are starting on a 600 or thinking about starting on a 600 and I guess I should let you guys know why you shouldn't because up until this point I've been telling you guys why you should I'm gonna play a little devil's advocate here and uh, let you know why you guys shouldn't number one it's fucking uncomfortable bro <laughs> I know in one of my earlier videos I said I didn't mind it, you know, but as these rides get longer, it's getting, uh, you know, it's getting to me a little bit. The, the back is, the back is not doing too great, but I love it, man. It's worth the sacrifice for me. So if you guys have like lower back problems or issues or anything like that, you know, Super Sport might not be the best for your back. I feel like, I literally feel like Shit is just gonna fall out of my pocket. I guess that's point number two. Shit's gonna fall out of your pocket. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable as fuck. Uh, you're pretty much on a 600. Some of them are a little bit more aggressive. I know you can get like an R3 or an R7, which is a little bit more comfortable because you're sitting straight up. But man, on a, on a 600, it's <laughs> woo. You know what I mean? Uh, that's one of the biggest things. It's just very uncomfortable. You're almost laying down on the bike. Uh, and sometimes, like, longer trips are just not as enjoyable. I mean, it's it's nice going fast. It's nice being on the street with a track toy. But if you're looking for comfort, don't do it, bro. Make sure you do your research. <laughs> number one guys it is uncomfortable as fuck if you are gonna start on a super sport i do recommend like an r3 a 250 a 200 a 400 even the ninja 400s you're pretty much like sitting straight up with those bikes uh okay i'll go i guess i'll just keep my hand here just so i know that nothing's gonna fall out Point number two! Gonna learn a lot slower on a 600. So stuff like your lean angles and turning and stuff. A 400 or a 200 or a smaller CC bike, you have a lot more leeway in terms of 
mistakes that you can do, right? On a 400, if you're leaning a little too much, what is going on, bro? Let's say on a 400, right? You're leaning a little bit too much. The problem there is, if you're on a 600 and you do that, and you lean a little bit too much, and you pull the throttle a little, little bit, there's a, there's a lot of torque there, right? There's a lot of torque there on a 600. Not saying that there's not a lot of torque on a 400, but on a 600, it's definitely fucking noticeable, and will shoot you forward. And if you're leaning too much, right, that rear tire, you're gonna lose traction. So, when I say a 400 or a smaller CC bike is a little bit more forgiving, that's what I mean. And also, I, I'm sure you guys have seen those videos of the 400s passing 1,000 CC bikes. That's because with cornering, you really want to have a smaller CC bike. Uh, you'll go much faster in the quarters. It's much more lighter. You won't lose traction as fast as 600 or 1,000. So that's point number two. Point number three! Wait, what? Are we going up or down? Whatever, the third point is you can't really carry a backpack. <laughs> Some of you aren't like me and actually have a backpack. Problem is, on a 600, or even on a, just a super sport in general, your backpack is even more uncomfortable than you are. Because they have that like little tiny seat that they're gonna sit on, and they're leading forward the whole time. If you think it's unenjoyable for you, for them it's even worse. Oh my god, there's so much wind, bro. But yeah, it is it is very uncomfortable for your backpack, bro. Okay, the fourth thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is uh, there's a lot of power, bro. What are you gonna do with all that power as a beginner? There is so much power here that like I don't even know what you would do with all of this if you're not going onto the track. So as a beginner, it's like, all right, you got a 600, you're, going, you're riding on a 636cc bike. What are you doing with all 636ccs? Pretty much most of the time that you are riding as a beginner, you're gonna be using only 400 of those 600ccs. You know, as an example, you're not even gonna be using all 400ccs, bro. So there's a lot of power here for just a beginner. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I did it because I'm stupid and a crazy fuck, but like I said, man, it's one of those things where it's like a little bit of an overkill for beginner riders. <laughs> man, everyone loves the bike, bruh. I got another nine miles of this shit. Point number five is this, these handlebars don't really steer all the way. Like the radius for them to like turn left or turn right, it's very, very small. The other point of like it hindering your learning ability, man, those slow speed maneuvers, you gotta lead it a little bit more because you just don't have that much wiggle room in terms of turning the bike, you know? Oh my god, I'm riding with one hand right now so that like the shit in my pockets don't fall out. <laughs> I'm so afraid this is gonna fall out, bro. This Raptor is nice, bro. Woo! Look at that! Damn, bro! Is this a clap? Ah, just some old guy. Bro, any retired, like, interceptor should just be ju jumped. You know what I mean? Should just be jumped. Because it is not fair for y'all to have these police interceptors and scare the shit out of everyone. <laughs> just run it to the ground and just fucking get rid of them, bro. Why are civilians able to fucking buy this shit? 
isn't it illegal to like impersonate a cop? So where where is the line there? Where the fuck is the line? Because that's pretty much impersonating a cop. Am I right or am I wrong? Nothing has fallen out of my pockets yet. So what point are we on, bruh? Today's adventure is to not lose anything. Alright. Pocket check! What is that, bro? Pocket check. We still good, I think. Hey, uh, here's a review of my Shoei RF 1400. This shit is quiet as fuck. I almost feel like I don't even need earplugs. <laughs> Such a huge upgrade from the Sedici, bro. The Sedici is a good quality helmet, especially for a beginner. But man, this Shoei RF 1400 is another level. Understand it, I'm a fucking bandit. I am just full squirting right now and I am mooning everyone behind me. Oh, I went the wrong way. Bro, I always do this. One eternity later. It was a follow-up appointment for my ankle and the doctor literally was in and out in like a minute. And now I gotta pay however much I gotta pay for that follow-up visit. Where nothing was uh Nothing was done, except for, hey, what's up? How you doing? All right, good. See ya. See you in a week. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Had I known that you could do that as a doctor, I probably would have just went for my doctor. Another reason why you shouldn't start on a 600cc is, I need gas, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. I need gas bad. Another reason why you shouldn't start on a bike like this, baby. It really only shines on dry pavement. That's really it, bro. So if you're trying to do some off-road shit or riding in the rain, I mean, good luck. You better have ABS, traction control on, and all that shit because this shit in anything but dry pavement you're fucked bro but i don't know what it is but the hondas they get riled up when they see a bike bro <laughs> it's always the hondas man anyway uh i think that's it for this video bro talked about a lot and i also got robbed <laughs> but if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up uh, like and subscribe. Hey, if you're new here, welcome to Crazy Buff. Make sure you hit the notification bell too. So you don't miss out on any new drops. And, uh, yeah. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll see you all in the next one. Alright? Peace. Okay.